This is taken from my full album reaction, which you can go check out on my Patreon. The link is in the description. And what an experience. This has been such a long time coming, and it feels so great to finally have heard it together with you guys. I went into this record with a pretty open mind, not trying not to have any expectations as to what the sound would be you know, of it, because all the singles we got were very varied. Like, you know, each one kind of hearkened to a different era of the band or a different side of them. You know, we got heavy stuff, we got endemic stuff, soft things, really heavy things. But th this record really just felt like it was pulling from all the best parts of all the, the albums, you know? Uh, there were bits and pieces of the Linkin Park DNA throughout every single song, and every single song felt like uh, it came from somewhere. Like, I don't think any of the sounds in this record were just pulled out of thin air and, like, we they've never done them before. Like, every single part of this album is something that they've done before, and this is just a modernized 2024 version of it. You know, we, got, we had songs that sounded like they came straight off of Hybrid Theory or Meteora or Minutes to Midnight. I mean, yeah, any any one of the albums, honestly, I think I heard bits and pieces of all the albums on each each and every song. It was really really cool. There were moments uh, like from like straight up the hunting party, like Casualty felt very hunting party esque. Um, there were even moments of like the melody choices that felt kind of like one more light, you know, very poppy, very light and airy. But man, I, I think I there what I really enjoyed was that. Every single song had that Linkin Park DNA feeling on it. Like there's just something about each and every track that just felt uniquely Linkin Park. And it, it, it's in the production, it's in the melody choices, it's in the guitar lines, it's it's in everything. It just feels right. It just feels like Linkin Park. And I know that I'm going to get people who are going to comment and be like, oh, it's not Linkin Park. They should have just renamed the band because this isn't the band anymore. Well, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. This is the band, whether you like it or not. Uh, this is Mike's band. He started it. There's a bunch of other band members who are big into the creative process besides Chester. Uh, and and Rob, you know, as much as I love Rob's drumming, the Linkin Park is greater than the sum of its parts. It's something bigger than just the individual people. And if the people who've owned this project come together and say, this is what Linkin Park is now, this is what Linkin Park is now. And we just have, have to accept that and learn to grow and, and change. You know, and I for one am loving it. I think it sounds fantastic. I really, really enjoyed this record. Overall, I think it was like a touch, a touch safe. You know, there was a little bit of experimentation and, and some weirdness, you know, which I really appreciate. You guys know I love some weird stuff. Um, but I think overall, the album was kind of a, uh, a safe way to kind of ease people back in. And I, I liked that. I think that's the right choice, you know, after seven years of hiatus, after a new singer, after you know the death of one of the most iconic vocalists in all of rock music, like you kind of have to tread lightly when you come back from all that. And I think they did it very, very well. Emily is a great fit in this band, and I really, really enjoyed all of her contributions. You know, she's got a great voice in all aspects. Great screams great cleans. She's got great harmonies with Mike when he sings as well. And we even got some tones from Mike that I've never heard him do before. You know, like that kind of screaming, growly thing that he did in that one song. Like, I legit thought we were going to get like straight up harsh vocals from Mike. Like, that would have been absolutely wild. Um, but man, I really, really enjoyed this record. You know, was it a little bit safe? Yeah, a little bit, but I think that's exactly what they needed. You know, they can go back to being crazy and, you know, experimental after this, but I think we needed to ease into the band and uh, just get the fans ready again, you know? Get the fans acclimated to, hey, Linkin Park's back. This is what it's like now. And I honestly think that new music and experimentation might be coming a little sooner than you might think. Because there was just something about the way that last track ended. You know, it just, it just rubbed me the wrong way. It's really interesting. Every song 
had like a little outro or something that kind of flowed into the next song. And the outro, like, you know, it, it faded to nothing. And then we had the sounds like, da, 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 and it cuts off. Like, as if there's another song coming after this. It's really odd. I wonder, I wonder if maybe it loops back to the beginning of the record, kind of like uh, Nonagon Infinity by King Gizzard. I'll have to test that out. But I also think it could be maybe a sign of something else to come. I don't want to be delusional. You know, and, and be like, oh, new music, <laughs> two albums in a year. But I don't know. It's just a thought, just a theory. But nevertheless, I love this record. So much fun. Um, I don't really have too much bad stuff to say about it. There was like maybe one song that I was kind of lukewarm on. Um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. I have to go back and look. I think other than that, it's just a really solid, really, really fun. It's definitely going to be up there in my uh, albums of the year for sure. I'm gonna give this like a high nine, you know, like a, a pretty strong nine. Really, really fantastic comeback for Lincoln Park. I'm really, really proud of them, and I've had such a great time. Let me know what you guys saw this one in the comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts on Lincoln Park and their re return with From Zero. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. It has been such a blast checking out Linkin Park Records with you guys. This has been a wonderful journey. Some of the most fun I've ever had making YouTube videos with you guys. Um, and it's not over. It's not over. There's actually a lot more Linkin Park stuff to check out because the well is very deep. So next we're going to be checking out uh, Post Traumatic from Mike Shinoda. Uh, we're going to be doing the, the Zero EP, the like the very first version of Linkin Park before they were Linkin Park. We're going to do the Hybrid Theory EP, the album that they did before they released Hybrid Theory. I didn't even know that existed until like yesterday. And we're also going to do a couple uh, of Chester's like offshoot projects. Uh, there's just so much great stuff coming out. And also, I think the next band that we're going to deep dive in on is going to be System of a Down. A lot of you said that that would be a lot of fun. And I've never heard any of their stuff before, except, you know, the main singles. So I'm really stoked to check that out. This would be five records, System of a Down. It's going to be fantastic. But yeah, it's it's been an absolute pleasure doing Linkin Park stuff with you guys. And I'm really sad that it's, it's coming close to a close. But, you know, it's totally fine. So much great music out there. It's We are never going to run out of great music to check out. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of that stuff. And be sure to join our new Discord server. It's becoming a very cool little community where we can discuss music and art and cool creative stuff together. Uh, and I'm really, really liking the place that it's becoming, and we'd love to see you there. It's going to do it for me today. See you in the next one.